Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are doing the advent of code puzzle. The git repository is linked in the description below. And if you want to see all of my trials and tribulations, you can see the full recording as a member of this channel. Day six, tuning, uh, tuning trouble. The preparations are finally complete. You and the elves leave the camp on foot and begin to make your way towards the star fruit groove. As you move through the dense on undergrowth, one of the elves gives you a handheld device. He says that it has many fancy features, but the most important one uh, to set up right is the communication system. However, because he heard you have a significant experience dealing with signal based system, he is convinced that the other elves that it uh, convinced the other elves that it would be okay to give you their own uh, their one malfunctioning device. Surely you have no problem fixing it. As if inspired by the <laughs> comedic timing, the device emits a few colorful sparks. To be able to communicate with the elves, the device needs to lock on to their signal. The signal is a series of seemingly random characters the device receives one at a time. To fix the communication system, you need to add a subroutine to the device that detects a start of a packet marker in the data stream, in the protocol being used by the elves. At the start of the package is indicated by a sequence of four characters that are all different. The device will send your subroutine a data stream buffer, your puzzle input. Your subroutine needs to identify the first position where the four most recently received characters are all different. Specific, uh, specifically, it needs to report the number of characters from the beginning of the buffer to the end of the first four uh, character marker. For example, suppose you receive the following data stream buffer. Okay. After the first three characters we have received, there aren't uh, enough characters received yet to find a marker. The first time a marker could occur is after the fourth character is received. Making the most recent characters M, J, Q, J, uh, because J is repeated. This, is, uh, this isn't a marker. The first time a marker appears after the seventh character arrives, once it does, the last four characters received are J, P, M, uh, Q, M which are all different. In this case, your subroutine should report the value seven. Uh, so after the seventh character. Uh, okay. So yeah, so they count from the end. Um, there, here are four more examples. First marker of the five, six, 10 and 11. How many characters do you need to pre-process before the first start package of the marker is detected? Your puzzle input. So I guess that we need this puzzle input will be uh, larger. In this case, we just need to copy over this line. And then we can have the other lines as well. And we can do same operation for all of them in a loop so we can still keep this loop we don't need to change it up so line split by all characters then we have this string array of characters um, for string s in characters now we go through this line. And what I want to do here is to have a string buffer. And then uh, buffer is equal to uh, buffer, uh, yeah, 
we add s to that buffer. Mm, and it needs to be empty like that. If buffer uh, length is larger than three, so we have four characters. Um, let's see, no larger than two, so we have three characters. Mm. So we, we do like this, else we add one and we will also add that here. Mm. And here we will do buffer substring one into buffer so we will remove the first character and here we will also check if buffer contains s or do not contain s then uh, break int char or um, index equal to zero and after each of these we take index and increase it and we do a system out print line index so could that give us <coughs> the re desired result so the first one gave us four which is not correct. And then zero, zero, zero. Okay. So let's see what's going wrong here. Uh, yeah, I need to move this buffer in here, of course. So let's do that. So now we get four, four, three, five. Um, which is not correct. So let's see what's going on here. So the buffer is not two, so we add. And it's still not. Still not. So now it's larger and it cont uh, contains J. So we'll add J and remove. So, and then still larger. This will. Uh, Oh, yeah, that's correct. Mm. So we need to see that there is none of the characters that are um, multiples. So this will not work as is. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, if buffer contains S, then we could take buffer and place s with nothing. We could remove it. I wonder if that works. Hmm. Yeah, we need to set the buffer as well. Right. Here we need to do it. Mm. 
So now we will have this string here. It will contain itself. Then we have P. Yeah. So now we got seven. So I wonder if we get the right ones of the other ones as well. Five, three, three, five. Seven, five. And then we have six. Okay. Mm. Place all. I wonder if that works. Nope. So let's see what's going on here. It doesn't work. <laughs> so let's do this the right way then. Uh, so this buffer is a list. Mm. Oh, sorry. Still call it buffer, and if buffer size is longer than two, so buffer add s. So there we go. And if um, buffer size is equal to new array set. No, uh, hash set buffer size. So if we create an array set with this buffer and it's the same size as the list, then we break. Mm, else we will take the buffer, add the new string, and we will also take buffer and remove the zeroth index. Did that work? So we have the same issue, just in a different way. Okay, so we need to add it first. Now we got six, four, five, nine, ten. Uh, six, four, five, nine, ten. Okay, so it's all of them are one off. Um, so if we do like that we will have the correct answers. Seven, five, six, ten, eleven. Uh, seven, five, six, ten, eleven. So that's because we are counting this one that we are adding this last round as well. So that makes sense. So what did I do here? I added, I took all the characters, I created buffer that is a list, and then I go through each character, I add them to this list, and if the list is larger than um, 
two. So we can actually do like this, just for uh, completeness. We can actually do like that, and we get the same results. Yes. So what we are doing is checking if we have a buffer of four characters. And if so, we take that size, which should be four, and then compare that with the hash set size, so just the unique characters. And if those are the same, then we have only unique characters. Otherwise, we'll add one more to the buffer and remove the first one. We can do that in either or order. And if we get that, then we will just type out the index down here. So this seems reasonable. Let's try it with the larger data set and see if we get a correct index. Uh, we get a little bunch of fours. That's probably because we have not changed the date, day six. So now we got 1,343. So let's put that in and see if that's correct. Yes, you get a gold star. I get a gold star. Everybody gets a gold star. So continue part two. Your device communication system is correctly detecting package, but still isn't working. It looks like it also needs to look for messages. The start of a message marker is just like the start of a package marker, except it consists of 14 distinct characters rather than four. Uh, there are there are first positions of start messages markers for all the above examples. Um, 14 distinct characters. Um, here are the first positions of start messages for all of the above examples. Mm. So instead of Third, three, we do 13 and then go back here and try this. Do we actually get results for all of those? 19, 23, 23, 29, 26. Yeah. So the result would just be to run this again then with changing the buffer size. To 2,193, would that be the answer? Yeah, you get a gold star, I get a gold star, everybody gets a gold star. So part two this day was not as complicated when we had solved day one, because it was just increasing the buffer size and still using sets. So sets are actually magical in Java. You can actually do a lot of cool things with sets. So I hope that you found this interesting. I hope that you learned something today. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you have any comments or suggestions or want to share your specific solution, do that in the comment section down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.